Hey there folks, this is Bobo the Vulture, this is Let's Play Uncharted Waters New Horizons, and as you recall last time, we set out on, and have very nearly completed, the quest of the Obscene Lithograph! Pretty amazing. And, uh, I believe, yeah, we were here. Um... Had we supplied up? Actually, have we sold off our stuff? Yeah, I should just take a look at the uh, cargo info here. Oh yeah, we appear to have loaded up with uh, some rock salt, so... Okay. Oh, there, maybe Will you be shoving off? Take a look at our supplies. No, no, I did. I did all that stuff already. Will we be shoving off? Yes. We can sail away. Don't worry. That's uh, pretty much what we're going to do. Sail away. Sailing takes me away. Just ask Christopher Cross. Gonna head straight on back here to the Governor General of Holland and give him the lithograph that he so desires. had a fuzz out on my, uh... Yeah, we're gonna stop in Amsterdam. Let's do that. Had a fuzz out on my, uh, microphone. Don't know what that was all about. Anyways, this is the capital of Holland. This is where I want to go if I want to meet the Governor General. And of course I do. Welcome, Baron Von Boer. Welcome! Ho! Oh, so you found the obsidian lithograph. Fantastic work. I present you with ten gold bars and this title. Oh yeah. Ten gold bars. From this day forth you will be known as Viscount Von Bohr. Eventually Vickers will name a plane after you that gets good fuel economy but has poor range. going on there, buddy? Eh, not much going on, huh? Oh, okay. So he's named me Viscount Von Boer. We haven't done any exploring since uh, the last time that we, uh... I'll tell you what. Just for funsies, let's go ahead and, uh, sell off all our rock salt. Actually, I'm sure I'll still be able to sell for a profit. I just want to see... No, 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 not discoveries. Although, yeah, is the, uh... Diego's Monument. Blue Whale. Is there a sea cow picture plant? Yeah, looks like, uh... The obsidian lithograph we don't even get to read about. What the heck, dude? Alright, anyways, let's look in our journal. 42 gold pieces. So. 42 gold pieces, buddy. You gonna manage that for me? 57. I'll sell you all of my rock salt. don't have any goods to sell. We're gonna buy some, then. Glass beads have a little specialty. That price is acceptable. Yeah, alright. Let's load them into the dune. Let's load 250 into the dune. And let's buy even more glass beads. Still acceptable. And we'll get 150 here. I figure, worst case scenario, if it turns out that uh, I have some other quest that I need to do um, that involves carrying some other type of cargo, I can just dump those off in, uh, you know, West Africa real quick. 
but I think first and foremost I'm gonna load up here find out if the governor general is still looking for me nope he's not in that case it's time to start a new exciting expedition so let's uh... let's have a look around folks what haven't we discovered we've pretty much pretty much scoured most of the uh, the Eurasian continent, Africa, Greenland up there, the British Isles. Gone through the Americas, have not... It's been pointed out to me, the, the Galapagos there. I uh, did not get far enough off the coast of South America to notice. My fault there. But, um... It pretty much is uh, one of the last big undiscovered... Uh, this whole blobbish area of the map. Now, a lot of this is going to be water, but clearly, we still have one more continent to go. Oh, there, matey. Will you be shoving off? Wait, no, no, no. I'm not going to shove off with just that many supplies. Let's get more supplies. Yes, let's sail off. Sail off for 15 days. 15 days is long enough. I'm sure the Governor General of Holland will be ishing to uh, find out about all the awesome stuff that we've done once we, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. Once we finish this next journey. And you know, if he's not, eventually it's going to get to the point where, um... There's not going to be much point to me doing anything else in, uh... the game. Alright. Next chance I get, I might want to... Yeah, here. Commodore, our crew has paid 80 gold pieces in wages. I'm gonna stop in Bathurst and I'm gonna sell off this stuff. My navigation level and leadership and knowledge went up. It was mar marvelous. Alright. This is a neutral port in West Africa. Does it have an item shop? <gasps> it doesn't! Okay. That's too bad, I'm not going to be able to look at awesome 2AM items just by virtue of, um... Wait, it made me be shoving off? No, I got a supply. Well, oh, John B was almost out of food. Oh, hi there, matey. Will you be shoving off? No. But let's go ahead and look at our, uh, cargo distribution as it is right now. Cargo info. We get 70 food and water onto the dune in this configuration, and 22 apiece onto the John B. 70 and 22. And that lets us sail around for 15, 16 days. Not a huge amount of time, but uh, it's enough. Hey, I wonder if I can get into this fortune teller's place. No, the fortune teller's closed. Fortune teller is kind of a waste of money. Although, I mean, if you really want to find out how your uh, relationship with your mates is. That'll do that for you. Hey there, folks. Hey, it's my happy crew. How are you doing? It's nice to be back ashore. Commodore, I agree with him. Where's our next stop? Alright. Our next stop will probably be the next town along where I'll sell even more gold beads. It's 3.30. Let's come in and leave again. It'll be 4.30 and everybody will be up and about. That is the way of things in this world. How may I help you? You could uh, buy some of these uh, glass beads. The ones that are on the dune, maybe. 51? Yeah, I like it. Bam. 
75. Why don't you buy these ones for? 44? What do you take me for? Good day, sir. Uh oh, time for more conversations. Yep, Mercator's Atlas. And the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That is not for us, it's for Mercator. I could put a price on the fantastic things we've seen. It's running around, uh, what, about 75 gold bars at this point? You'll be shoving off? Yeah, let's go ahead and shove off. No, you shove off! Commodore, the sky looks ominous. Well then, let's land. And wait a while. Commodore, it's a storm! It's just like I said! Arrrr! And such! Let's weed it out. Yep, we sure are waiting it out, folks. But yeah, I mean, I suppose I could uh, continue to duck away from the shore. There's still more ocean that I could potentially explore, but... Commodore, somehow we weathered the storm. Okay, well then. Well then, let's continue to wait. Apparently there was so little time. Also, you notice that when the storm arrives, if there are other ships on your uh, screen at that moment, they just ma they just vanish. They're ghost ships. That or they are immediately sunk by the uh, bad weather. Let's sail. Let's cast off. The sky looks... I didn't even get to finish the sentence, the sky looks less ominous now. Commodore, you'll never guess what it is! It's thunderbolts and lightning. Very, very frightening, Hans. <sighs> Somehow we weathered the storm. Alright, let's go. Maybe June is just a particularly stormy season in this part of the, uh... This part of the Atlantic? It's possible. I shouldn't just be, uh, so... Catless. Commodore... Commodore 64! Alright, let's land and wait for him to talk about how it's a storm. Yes indeed, Hans. It is indeed a storm. And waves are... well, they're not tossing the ship because we safely weighed anchor on the shore. Oh boy, that took us uh, took us multiple seconds to manage to actually find a, a little nook where we could uh, get the ship in. So we may have severe boat damage at this point. Somehow we managed to weather the storm. Let's cast off. And hope that uh, weather will be a little bit better the farther south we go. That tends to be the way of things here. You have just that little band there, where uh, things get pretty terrible, and then beyond that, beyond that, you're laughing. Okay, uh, we pound the port of Luanda. I never knew that there was this port here before. Well, I'll be darned. It's allied with Portugal. It's a good thing too. I really need it to stop. So let me go ahead and um let's see. This town have an old man? Hey there you are. Old oh, man, tell me all about your stuff. Coral is the specialty of this port. 
Sounds cool, but if we're going to Australia, I think they got coral there. How might I help you? To buy my glass beads. You learn arms. Fifty. Not bad. Hundred and fifty for those. We don't have any goods to sell. It's true. I'm gonna get out of here. After I get my ship repaired. I get the feeling that John B. probably at least took some damage in those storms. Let's, uh, let's have a look, though. Well, everybody did. Uh, yep. Is there a place where I can actually check, um... Oh, I'm about to find out. John B. Yeah, I can only tell sort of what its general resistance is by, like, the little deflection number there. Um, can't actually tell what its... Uh, see, this actually, in theory, has a lower... Plink, plink, uh, whatever you call it. Resistance to... Uh, I guess cannibals? I don't know. Whatever it is. Um, yeah. The uh, little pictograms in this game can be a little bit confusing if you don't have a, a guide in front of you. But, let's go ahead and get some supplies. I am tempted. I think I'm going to do it. Boy, there, maybe we'll be shoving off. Yes. We can sail for 48 days. Good. Let's sail for all the days. We can sail forever. Hey there, ship. Like two ships passing in the night. Except I'm not sure that it was night when we passed. Now, hopefully we won't encounter St. Elmo's fire again. I think that only happens once per game. Just put her along here. Yeah, let's go ahead and stop in Cape Town. Cape Town seems like a good place to supply before we start heading south. question is, how foolhardy is this voyage? And the answer is, not foolhardy enough for my awesome crew. Well, that's possibly the answer. I don't really know, folks. But yeah, definitely need to uh, check out Antarctica here. Because it's just where it's at, man, this place. You want to talk about the deep south. And this is as deep as the south goes. Now then, hopefully that, uh, yeah. That'll cover me all the way down to the bottom of the map. Now, hopefully, it is smooth sailing here. Apparently, uh, actual prevailing uh, weather patterns around uh, Antarctica would uh, make for very unsmooth sailing, which I guess makes sense anytime you see a documentary or a movie or anything else like that about a group uh, venturing down to Antarctica. The winds are always massive and blowing and whipping against everybody's clothes and knocking over stuff, and yeah, makes sense. Would be rough weather down that way. But we've, we, we sally forth. 
Commodore, the crew got paid, and your microphone started making up that odd hum again. I'm sorry about that, folks. I hope that is not coming off as really loud and terrible. Did have to get yet another headset. Boy, howdy. Um... Who are you? What are you doing? You're Turkish merchants. You also are a fan of the now. Abdul's fleet is headed toward the west, speed of eight knots. All right then. We've been out quite long in this midnight sea. Don't know what's become of me. when it will be eventually time to uh, pull up here. Probably already gone far enough that if I uh, sort of can't up north here I'll find Perth. Or somewhere about. But uh, I don't feel like I have to yet. I still have plenty of food. I might just finish mapping the uh, the southern part of the uh, world here. At this rate. Mm, that might be a bit optimistic to do. Still and all, I'll keep sailing. See whether or not uh, any landmarks come far enough south to, uh, you know, be of note. Hey, you know what? I'll pull up. Pull up, goose! And, uh, see what there is to see up here. Not too much, as it turns out. I am possibly too far east. to uh, encounter anything. We've been out for a good while here in the Midnight Sea. Oh no, wait, here we are. Somewhere off this corner here. Land ho! Now, the question is, what is going on in this land? Ho? Also, quite nicely, um, even if there is nothing going on in this mysterious large island. So mysterious. Commodore, we found a village! Sweet. I wonder if the feral kid's gonna be here. Probably not. Let's entertain the locals. I probably didn't, I might not even have had to. But, yes, I was going to have had to. Um, alright, let's entertain some more. Help us search. An exotic animal. What kind of exotic animal? Is it the platypus? No, it's the kiwi. Named for its cry. I guess it goes, kiwi! This is a flightless nocturnal bird with small head and long slender bill that has nostrils near the tip. Uses a highly developed sense of smell to find its food. Has a f has a fruit and a brand of shoe polish named after it. Kiwi. The more you know.
Alright, we've been out for a while here at the Midnight Sea. It would be good to find a port, like the port of Levesque. Come on, let's let's go. We're going to stop in Levesque. My navigation and leadership went up. That's cool. Niccolo's navigation level and leadership and seamanship and knowledge went up. Everybody's looking good at the supply port of Levesque. Ahoy there, matey. Will you be shoving off? Eh, I'm going to go ahead and supply up again. You know, that's okay. I realize that I'm going to have too much food for, uh, you know, the next leg of this journey, probably. Because I'll probably be... I was going to say stopping at a port again soon. I didn't mean that soon. But, uh, you know. Maybe doing a lot of sailing around before I find any place that I really feel like I need to, uh, you know, like fill up the hole with anything other than food, anyways. That's all cool stuff. Amador, we found a village! Of course, uh. Alright, there we go. Let's land at this village. Let's have a search around. We didn't find anything. Well, then I guess the time has come to pay our rent. Yeah, pay our share. The time has come. Fact's fact. Belongs to the villagers. But we're gonna take it anyway. I don't think that's how the song goes. Alright, let's keep entertaining. And searching. Anybody remember Midnight Oil? They're a pretty cool group. Uh, had their heyday back in the 80s. Oh, there's a Yeah, come on. Hey, an exotic... Oh, no! An exotic animal. 21 men from our crew want to stay in this village. They're tired of sailing. It's a frilled lizard. It has a large umbrella-like frill that rises up and opens the frill to intimidate enemies and runs away only on its rear legs. That's interesting. I guess let's cast off. And first order of business, let's look at our crew. Assigned crew. Yeah, there are not enough people uh, navigating the dune now. We gotta go for... Let's try an 80-20 split. Get another crew member on to... Uh, that's still not enough. How about 90-10? Alright. Here's what we're gonna have to do. We are going to have to assign more crew. Wait, 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 wait. No, I want to assign more men to the... Ah, transfer crew. Yeah, that's what I want to do. How many men will ye assign to your ship? I'll assign 30 men to this ship. Why can't I assign 30? How many men will you assign to my ship? Wait a minute, uh, 26. So, I need to... Have you make a do with nine. Can you do that? Okay. Um, how about 30 men here? Is that okay? Yes. No, 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 no. Now we have to assign the crew. Let's go for 80-20. No. Let's go for 90-10. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. 
probably going to have to go for 90-10 here as well. No. How about... 80-20. Okay. We no longer have enough people on lookout, but at least we have enough people operating the ship now. Hopefully, if we're close enough to the shore like this, we will at least be able to locate stuff if we stumble right into it, you know? At least we got enough food for a while. Commodore, our crew was paid 80 gold pieces. And we found a village. I don't know, do I want to risk? Do I want to risk landing here? People seem to really like Australia. I keep entertaining first when I shouldn't. There are some things that you don't need to... Okay. Nobody decided to stay here. We discovered a natural wonder. Ah. Ayers Rock. The legend says there is a humongous red monolith in the center of this continent. And... The Noozles cartoon says that's where a species of pandas from outer space or some other dimension or something all gather to, uh, I guess, do something. I never really was sure what was going on there. On, uh, the Noozles. But it was definitely there. It was definitely strange. We found the port of Geelong. Wait, this is just a regular port, or is this a supply port? I think it's just a supply port. Yeah, it's just a supply port. Still, might as well get supplies. You know, while I'm out here. Ah, supply up, please. Will I be shoving off? I don't think I will, but yeah, hey, you can see. We got 75 days out of it now. <sighs> because, um, sure enough, um, we have a much smaller crew, so, you know, they aren't. They're, they, they have a lot more food. Each individual one has a lot more food for themselves. So, <laughs> I guess that has an advantage. Running a lean, mean crew? That's never gotten me into trouble before, has it? Mm, no, sir. Mm -mm. Alright, but uh, I tell you what, folks. Uh, next time on Let's Play Uncharted Waters New Horizons, we will uh, sort of continue to uh, map out uh, you know, Tasmania here. Maybe I'll uh, kick my way out to New Zealand. You know, check out Polynesia a little or something. And... Uh, you know, the Philippines, wherever. There's plenty of islands and cool stuff to uh, to be noted out this way. Um, but yeah, that is all for next time. And uh, until then, I thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now.